think right after that.
tell me this how I could get my copy and sit down.
Mark, do you want some time to get and Jack have to leave us at the moment so we'll push across there and we'll we'll, we'll do on that's number all right number 11 let's it's a new new composition number 11 right if Sean McCarthy is around there he, will you come up and join us Sean
Oh, it's just a year ago today that I married Mary Ann. And here am I at 45, an old and feeble man. She nags me in the morning, she nags me all the day. She criticizes all I do and everything I say. The other night we had a fight and she hit me with the pan. Oh, the curse of blazes on the day that I married Mary Ann. She wakes me in the morning, she says, get out of bed, you lazy, ugly so-and-so, you're like something dead. Get up and go to work now, and find a job somehow. Sure, I told her that I never worked, and I wasn't starting now. I draw the home assistance, and things are very dear. For to buy a box of tea bags and a few old pints of beer. And if she wants some money to buy herself a dress, she bloody well may go out and work for it herself. And just to aggravate her, I stay in bed all day. I get up in the evening time and make myself some tea. And then I wander down the town for to have myself a jar. Sure, tis always after closing time before I leave the bar. And then I start for home again. Oh, she's waiting for me there, full in her height and in her waist and colours in her hair, and in her hand a poker. Oh, she'd frighten any man. She's the biggest devil that ever there was, that old Mary Ann. She's over six feet tall, me boys, and her weight is twenty stone. And whenever we would have a fight, sure I'd barely hold me on. She's as strong as any blacksmith, or she should have been a man. You'd need cottage home protection from my old Mary Ann. She says I'm good for nothing, either in or out of bed. She says I'm not a man at all and wishes I were dead. She says that I'm a drunken schoon and I think I'll have to leave. For if I stay here any longer now, sure I'll end up in me grave. I think I'll go to London and leave her to herself. It means that I must leave my home, but that cannot be helped. For you might as well be living with the devil and his clan as to try and share the same abode as my old Mary Ann. So come on, me boys, take warning. Stay single while you may. For if you wed, you'll be a slave until your dying day. And the lady with the lovely face and a smile so warm and grand. Oh, she could be a devil too, like my old Mary Ann. <laughs> We're a, we're a mixture of musicians, singers and dancers from all over Munster. And if you want to see us again, you'll see us at the All Ireland Flan Letter Kenny. I'm sure you'll all be there.
I'm sure everybody's enjoying the Munster Flan in uh, McCroom and uh, we're the Turlip Moore and Kelly event from County Clare. We're very happy to be here. And uh, this is our fourth time apparently of winning the, the Munster Cup, so we're looking, looking forward to getting to the Ireland. Thank you. If there's anybody in dancing mood, if anybody would feel like, like uh, maybe doing a plain set or a clear set, Caledonia set, don't be shy. We'll be with you in a second, thank you. Sorry about that.
first one is Seamus Cooley's.